All right, uh, Shalom. Before I start, we give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bakashem, or Kakorash, the honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, uh, Wak Wakim, learning and teaching of truth and sincerity. It's going to be another video through the Spirit. All right, and for this one, I'm going to have the uh, picture up. Was able to get a, a screen capture. Uh, you know, I took a picture. I was going into the gym, you know, in the morning. Uh, and this is new. This is just set up. You know, uh, maybe yesterday. Uh, I go into the gym, and normally, you know, they have you scan your little card. They give you a little clip. You know, like Kroger. You know, Kroger, Walmart stores. You know, they'll give you a little barcode. You can put it onto your keychain. Normally, that's how you sign in at the gym. You know, but this morning, uh, it, was, it was actually yesterday morning. But on that morning, I go in and I see this little installment. You know, it's a, a little. Uh, forehead scanner you know it said please stand at least two inches away uh, or is it what like uh, please place your forehead at least two inches away for the laser scan you and it was checking for your temperature and it would read your temperature you know dead accurate and that would determine if you are allowed to enter or not all right because you know right now they're using this coronavirus uh, basically that's what it supposedly it's detecting for if your heart if your um, what do you call it if your body heat was up too high you know it's a good indica good indication you may be sick all right and that's their way of their way of detecting it and we all know this is alluding to the RFID chip which is the mark of the beast and that's all they're getting people ready for. all right this literally in a matter of time instead of it scanning your forehead for your temperature it's gonna either it's just gonna scan your body for your chip uh, wherever it be all right because you know you're gonna have people that are well, what do they call it? Para, not paralegals, para, uh, uh, paraplegics, meaning they've lost limbs in different parts of their body. You know, they may not have a right hand or a left hand to scan, so it'll just scan them. Oh, you know, they got it in their shoulder or, you know, they got it in their spine or their buttocks or whatever the hell. But this is just getting the people ready. That's what all this stuff is for, getting people exercised and no more cash, all right, no more physical contact, straight up. RFID uh, system. That's what they're getting people prepared for. And the fact of the matter is that they're putting it in front of us. They're no longer hiding it. It's no longer a secret. All right, so there's really not too much to be discussed. You know, I can shut the video off, <laughs> call it a day, but I'll get the basic scripture real quick out of Revelation 13. Come on, come on, Judith, let's go. Uh, I'll get the scripture. Walking the dog right now. This motherfucking cracker bitch came came uh, pulling up like she wasn't gonna stop for us at the stop sign. The damn dog looked up at her like, like, what's up? <laughs> hey, even that you know, even the animals know that this society is is out of whack. You know, she looked up at that car like, like, damn, nigga, you not gonna stop? You know, but this is uh, <laughs> this is Revelation 13. We're gonna go straight to it. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Revelation 13. I'm going to start at verse 12. It says, And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. So America today, uh, this system, America, EU, NATO, or this new world order, we understand that it's the Roman Empire revived. That's why it acts and performs in the same way. Uh, you can read, what was that, that, that Maccabees, I uh, forget the chapter, either 1st Maccabees chapter 8, it tells you how the Romans used to get down, all right? And America is set up in the same fashion as that old beast. It's exercising all the same power, similar laws, similar punishments, all right, similar government, the, the, the way that the cities are built, all the same, all right? Verse 13, it says, And he doth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of men, so through his technology, he's able to do things that people are that people consider great and monumental. All right, uh, and, and that fire coming down from heaven, one of those great powers being the missiles, the ability to destroy entire land masses in a blink of an eye. All right, and one of the sayings they had when they supposedly landed on the moon: "One small step for man, one big step for mankind." That's the mentality that the devil pushes with his uh, technological capabilities. You know, as if he's a a uh, God. All right, verse 14 now. It says, And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, 
that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by his sword and did live so now they want to complete the rulership of this kingdom which they couldn't do in rome by setting out this mark of the beast and making everyone take it uh and making everyone take it which is how you worship it because they're not going to literally tell people stand up come here get on your knees bow your head to the ground three times you're now initiated no to worship it is to take the mark of the beast and be fully integrated into this system all right verse 15 it says and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast he created the rfid chip that the image of the beast should both speak uh that uh slacky y'all so that he had power to give life unto the image of the beast uh, that the image of the beast should both speak and that caused as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So Salah, he, Esau has revived, uh, basically he set back up his kingdom. You know, in the, in the image, he's modeled this current kingdom, this new world order, the same way that uh, Rome was modeled. All right. It says, and worship the image must be killed. Uh, verse 16, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that's what this is all culminating to. That's why they had that machine there. Right now, they're just checking your temperature, but here soon, whether it be, you know, six months, eight months, 10, you know, a year, however far along we have left until this is all concluded, that's what it's ultimately gonna turn into. They're no longer gonna care about your temperature. They're no, no longer gonna care about your uh, debit card or your credit card. They wanna know if you have their mark of the beast, all right? And it tells you that if you uh, don't have it, if you don't want to put it in you, uh, you will you will be killed. All right, which effectively means what? If you don't have this thing, you're not going to be able to function in normal society. You may be able to, you know, survive somewhere, but you're not going to be like everyone else. You're not going to be able to go to Walmart anymore. You know, because once they set it up, uh, think it, there's certain games and movies that show you. Come on. One that comes to mind for me is a game called Prototype. Uh, basically, it was a, come on, let's go. It was a major infection that went out in the world, basically like Corona type deal. You know, doing the same shit. They had head scanners out, body scanners. It's all the same thing. And those that don't have it, they're not gonna be able to be a normal citizen. So who, who, who are you gonna have to rely on? All right, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, which the elect and the one third will do. Everyone else in this world, that is not a uh, matter of fact. It tells you. It tells you who's going to take it. Written. Let's get this. Let me see. So lucky. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Revelation 17. Uh, Revelation 13 and 8 jumping back up it says and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of uh, the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world for those that don't believe in Yahweh in full faith that those are not written in the book of life so they're going to take it certain of your friends certain of your family members all right your co-workers people you used to know they're going to take it because they're not of the chosen. They're already, they don't care. They're not resisting the devil right now. That's why they have no problem. You know, when the, the dude in front of me, you'll see in the picture, he went through it and I stood back. I waited till the nigga, uh, the dude who was working the counter until he came to the counter. I was like, I was like, so you need me to, I was like, what, you need me to go through that? Or like, what, what's up? He's like, yeah, just walk in front of it and you know, just let it scan you. I'm like, all right, dude. So. You know, but these people, they're, the dude, hey, they're going to walk into it with no resistance. They're not going to, they don't want to, they, they, if they don't want to die, all right? They're not willing to lose their life and not take the mark of the beast if it comes to it. they rather take the mark of the beast and live a little while longer, all right? So, you know, this is a, just a real quick update. Wanted to show it. You know, I know this ain't the first place that didn't popped up. They're popping up in more places now. But this was like, you know, serious and legit, you know. So just a real quick video. Esau is uh, is getting things. He's getting his he's getting his uh, ducks in order for the end of this world. 
All right. So with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rokhakurash, the honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, Wakwatim, learning and teaching, uh, teaching in truth and sincerity. I'm going to say Shalom.